There is never a good time for the power to go out. But as long as there are power lines attached to poles, and as long as there are trees and severe weather, there will be power outages. Let's take a look at some of the reasons why your home may occasionally lose power. The majority of outages, especially during storms, can be traced back to one thing, trees. There are other reasons for outages, lightning strikes and equipment failures, but mostly it's trees or tree branches breaking and contacting the electric lines or even pulling them to the ground. Let's look at the most common types of power outages. Often outages are momentary, caused by lightning or incidental contact by small branches. Though troublesome, these types of outages are nothing compared to when lines are broken or pulled to the ground. Remember that in order for you to have power at your house, there needs to be a single, uninterrupted path from the power source all the way to your home. Even one break anywhere along that path can keep the power from getting to your home. The distribution system Ameren uses to deliver electricity has a number of built-in safety features. Among them, fuses and circuit breakers, which automatically cut off the power to damaged areas to help prevent injuries, fires, and more widespread damage to the system. These fuses and circuit breakers are similar to the fuses and circuit breakers in your home, just on a much bigger scale. In places on the system where smaller lines split off from main or feeder lines, there's usually a fuse. When a fuse detects that this line has been contacted or pulled down, it blows, opening up the circuit and shutting off power to the damaged section. When this happens, all the houses, possibly dozens of them on this one line, will be out of service. Regardless of where the line is knocked down, everyone downstream of the blown fuse will be without power. On a larger scale, if one of the many main feeder lines, each of which could serve hundreds or even thousands of homes, is knocked down, a circuit breaker at the substation opens up and power is shut off to the whole area, including any neighborhoods within that area that have underground service. A single tree anywhere along a feeder line or even upstream of the substation along an even higher voltage supply line can cause the power to go out for thousands of customers. But keep in mind, when the power goes off, it's off for your safety. When lines are knocked to the ground, the power needs to be shut off immediately to prevent anyone from coming into contact with them. Often after a thunderstorm, there can be multiple breaks along the path used to deliver electricity to your home. Remember, there's a single path for the electricity to get to your home and the lines cannot be re-energized until all the breaks in that path are repaired. This explains why even after you see repairs being completed in one location, your power may not immediately come back on. People often ask why they are out of service but their neighbor is not. The answer lies in the direction your electricity is fed from. The electric distribution system often follows roads and streets, but many times it does not. Houses very close to each other are often fed from different circuits. One of the circuits may be damaged and de-energized, while the other is not. For your safety, keep in mind that even though circuit breakers and fuses are designed to de-energize a line once it is damaged, there may be isolated cases when they don't. For example, if the line breaks but fails to make solid contact with the ground, it can remain energized. So always stay away from downed lines. The path from your home to the power source can be many, many miles long. A break anywhere along the line will mean an outage at your home until the damage is repaired.